ant walking across your screen. Not very mm. nano, but his behaviour might provide a model for controlling the behaviour of swarms of nano robots. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Where were we? Ah, yes, zooming in. The letter on the screen he's walking over is one millimetre high. We can now write letters 10 nanometers high using electron beam induced deposition. It's difficult to read, but it proves we can build really tiny things. Look closer, get really close. On most flat screen monitors, you'll be able to see the pixels which make up the screen. That there, that's a human hair clinging via static electricity to your screen. In fact, a number of researchers have used a focus ion beam microscope, usually used to build nanoscale devices, to etch pictures into human hairs. I guess even nanotechnologists need a hobby. Now we can see that each pixel is in fact divided horizontally into three sub-pixels, red, green and blue. The next generation of laptop displays may use light-emitting nanocrystals called quantum dots for efficient, higher resolution and even flexible screens. This is as small as the human eye can see. Anything tinier than this, and most of us can't see it directly. But small structures like dust or fog can be seen indirectly by the way that they increase haze or affect shininess. That dust may make you sneeze a fine mist of aerosol droplets. And if it's flu, those droplets might contain influenza virus. Silicon nanowire sensors have recently been used to detect flu in a person's breath. Or if it's a cold, they will then carry the smaller rhinovirus instead. It's likely your sneeze also carried saliva, which contains your DNA. Sliding this single molecule of DNA through a nanopore hole in a single layer of atom-thick graphene might provide the basis for future DNA sequences. Smaller still, water molecules in saliva. Pass water through the tiniest of carbon nanotubes and only pure fresh water gets through nanofiltration that desalinates seawater. A lot of biology and chemistry happens at the nanoscale, and as we seek smaller, faster, better processes, storage and displays, our computing will increasingly happen here too. Fascinating discoveries of the intriguing properties arising from both the size and shape of nanomaterials are poised to become powerful new applications that will rewrite the way we interact with a natural and engineered world.